Welcome everybody to OP Digital Blueprint. Apologies for my background. I can seem to, but at least it's non-passive picture in the background anyway. Um, uh, welcome everybody. We've got my my colleagues Red and Collins today. So say hello, guys. And Red, take it away. Hi, how you doing? Thanks very much. Collins, do you want to say hello? Hello, everyone. Nice to be here again. Another Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, welcome everybody. Good to be here as always on a Tuesday with uh, OP Digital Blueprint with Collins and Andy. I do like this show. It uh, slots in very nicely uh, to uh, my schedule. And uh, it brings me nicely on to what I was talking about today on my live, and that is consistency. And obviously, uh, Tuesday is part of what I do on a consistent basis. Obviously, life does get in the way. Um, but for me, uh, consistency is right up there with one of the most important um, attributes you can use for any online business or in fact any business whatever you're doing anyway uh why uh am i bringing this to the table as far as on passive is concerned and i think it really works very well alongside uh on passive now i've had many people uh over the, my six years that i've been in on passive uh, saying to me ah, it's all right for you red look where you are in the company and uh you know, you're going to be OK and all this sort of stuff. Uh, and that's all very well and good. But I've been consistent in what I've done. I've always done my very best to stick to my goal. Uh, whatever my whatever your goal is, as far as uh, your business is concerned, you need to really hold on to the reason why you're doing it, whatever it is, whether it is your financial future, whether you're doing it because you want to better yourself or you want more for your family, wh whatever your why is, I suppose, whatever that reason is, this is the main importance of what you need to grasp onto and hang on, hang on to and utilize your ability to do things. And consistency is something that every single person can do. You don't need to have any qualifications to be consistent. All you need to do is to decide what you're going to do, do whatever it is that you're going to do, but be consistent within it. Now, obviously, uh, things change, times change, you change, and you are allowed to adjust. Uh, you're allowed to and change and almost reinvent as well within that time frame of what you're doing but it's still really important to be consistent about what you are doing andy does op digital blueprint i don't even know how long he's been doing it for how long you've been doing it for now andy two years two right? years two years every tuesday unless there is uh holidays or family occasions etc same time every Tuesday. We know that OP Digital Blueprint is on a Tuesday. We know that Heroes is on a Sunday at the same time, 2 p.m. Everybody knows I'm on at 11. Everyone knows that Marty and Chris come on at 10. You know, all this is all part of being consistent. What you talk about and what you are within it really doesn't make that much difference now if you are a person like myself who has decided that on passive is going to be my vehicle on passive is going to be the company that i'm all in on all my eggs are in one basket on passive now marty did have a very good point about multiple streams of income uh the other day uh, which is very true but you get all that within on passive every single product that we have within on passive is a separate stream of income and this is what makes this company so unique and this is why i am all in with on passive because 
it ticks all of the boxes that I've looked for in the past. So I decided an awful long time ago that this is the company for me. I'm going to be consistent in what I am doing. I'm going to learn on the job, refine myself, get better at it. But I'm still going to be consistent in what I am doing. And that's what I've tried to do over the years. For instance, when we first started, I was Mr. Q&A. I was very consistent within doing that part of what we did. That changed because the company evolved, things changed. And so I went into doing my lives more. Again, I've been very consistent with my lives, four years or more now of doing my lives. I've also been consistent with been Mr. Update now as well. And I absolutely love doing that. And this is what I'm trying to get over to everybody is that the ability is there for everybody. There is no qualifications to be consistent, but you need to decide what you're going to do. I do videos. That's my thing. Uh, Andy does uh, OP Digital Blueprint, and he obviously in the past, he's done a, a lot of other stuff as well. You might be a vlogger. You might be a blogger. You might just be a poster. It doesn't really matter what you are deciding to do, but whatever you're going to do, just be consistent within the boundaries of what you are trying to achieve. And the thing you're trying to achieve is what your goal is, the why, the thing that you hold and decided that you want to do this because I want to have this, get that, whatever it may be. That is the important thing to hang on to. Anyway, that's enough for me. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Red. <coughs> uh, you're, you're right. At the end of the day, we've all been on a journey, some of us, six years, five years, four years. Uh, the last time that you could actually register to become a, uh, an early bird was over two years ago. So uh, this time that we've spent, we have found something that we've started to enjoy i mean look let's face it not everybody is is good behind a camera um uh, it doesn't matter as long as you you're doing something and i the the interesting thing for me is that by doing these um uh, certainly with the op digital blueprint when we first started collins we were talking about the various products and we did various videos of, of, of you know breaking down the products what they did so so collins did the technical side of things and i kind of did the the sales side of things how could you offer it to others what's the benefit and the features of these things but the beauty of it is that you learn along the way as you guys well know, I, you know, I've been financial services for 38, 39 years. It's, it's, it's a long time. And that's all I've focused on for my, my lifetime, if you like, because that's the vast majority of my life. Now we've, we've started learning and thanks to the guys like Collins, the OTEC pros to Red and Marty, etc. I've learned a lot more. I've had the opportunity to look at things and and start to ask questions for myself and and do some research in the background and get to know what's going on understand what the products do understand how they work and that has been a large part of the journey it's not just what's going on with the company it's what you have been doing during this period of time and and you know reflection is a great thing so the question you should be asking yourself is why did I originally join um, on passive and what have I learned along the way? And you'll actually be astounded by the amount of information that you have learned along the way. And then the final question's got to be, what more can I do to find out more about what's going on or how I can succeed in the future? So uh, it's an interesting one. Collins, if you've got any ideas, what would you like to bring into the table? Oh yeah. Thank you, Red. Red opened a lot of, you know, when Red was talking, I was just like, okay, okay, now I know what to say. <laughs> it's always good for Red to start, you know. And honestly, when Red was speaking, I was I was thinking about something. I was thinking about believe, believe, you know, believe, trust, patient, you know, plug in, and then learn. And, you know, you talk 
about land Andy as well. So when I look at it, I say, okay, when I joined on passive, what was behind my mind? What did I really find on passive that really made me to believe? It was about the product. I know that will build products and services for businesses. I said, okay, this is an IT company. So the more I stay into Unpassive, that trust kick in. You know, I know Mr. Ashbra is not going anywhere. He's still there bringing things out. You know, like Red, they joined when it was fresh. Hit. You know, ask yourself how on earth you will join the company. You've never seen this nobody and said, okay, pay this amount. You just wire it. And then they write a name on the spreadsheet, especially that you can't even see. So they joined in by believing in what Mr. Ashford told them. That is the belief. And as they stay in, you know, time goes by, they started trusting the process because they saw Go Founder. Mr. Ash said, no, we can't continue with spreadsheet again. We need to build something so we can hold all the, 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 the affiliate or the founding member that are coming in. Go Founder kick in. You know, the moment they saw Go Founder, and I saw it, I said, wow, this is great. You know, I said, wow, this is a company that you can really be in. 100% belief, 100% trust in the process. But now the next thing is, do I have the patience to wait? Because that's a lot of things, a lot of founders don't have the patience to wait. Because it's about waiting, 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 waiting. Because it's not a day job. It's not something that is just like a switch of the button and the light will just turn on and say, ah, there you go, I'm good. It's about patience. You know, there are people... They couldn't withstand their patient way out. They vanish. You know, they say, no, I can't hold it anymore. But to those who have stayed in, now it comes with patience now and learning. Because the more you have patience, you can't just fold your arms. Because most of the time, I said, those who, who just decide to disappear is because they refuse to learn. They refuse to understand what Unpass is about to offer. Because the more you stay in, the more you plug in, you discover that it is too big. What Ms. Ash Bukhara is building with the team is massive. So now that joy now of waiting is, you know, we continue to pile because it's like that anxiety, that anxiety to see it, not only for yourself, but to see how something, you know, that was just like from the get-go, word of mouth, come in and I will take you to the top, you know, turn out to be something massive. I want to see how the whole world will be crying, you know, say something new, like the way we saw TikTok and everyone is jumping YouTube. We were not there when they built it, but we saw it and everyone said, wow, that's the joy now. I'm waiting, that patient to see how on will, will create that wow factor where I will sit back and say, wow, you know what? I was there when it started. It all started, you know, you know, take away the money. That joy will be, you know, seeing something that you, 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 you were there from the beginning. And then it become massive and, you know, changing lives and people are just, you know, going mad. But again, it will come about your patience and your learning. Because there are times where people will walk to you and say, you know, Andy, are you a founder of that company? Yes. Tell me more. How did, how did, did it all go? Who really tell, you know, just explain. And Andy, when you will tell your story, I will tell my story, Red will tell the story. People will not believe, you know, those like, you waited for this amount of time, six years, nothing. And we saw you talking red every day, every day, Andy. Until, you know, people were like, are you really crazy? But you know what? They will be looking at your craziness in a good way. That you have the vision, you know, foresight to look at something, something that people couldn't even see. You saw it from the get-go and jumped in, you know. So I will leave it there, red. <laughs> Let me... Let me, let me stop from here. Thank, thank, yeah, thanks, Collins. <clears throat> I think it's interesting. Everybody has a different reason why they got in. <clears throat> um, you know, we, 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 we all have a, a thought process, and 99.9% and .9 of us got in originally for the money because this looked like the, the excellent opportunity. And let's face it, the vast majority of us move from one shiny object to another. Um, and have done for years. Some of us have done it for donkey's years, but we won't go there. Um, the beauty of it is, if you like, that, that when we came across this and we started to learn or understand exactly what this was all about and who's running the business and, and his thought process and his uh, hope for humanity, etc., you go, I don't need another shiny object and I'm happy to wait. 
and I think that's for me it's certainly been that's been the issue I, I have no problem waiting at the end of the day yes you can always find something else to do in the meantime or in the interim any further thoughts anyway Red what would you like to add no it, it's it is uh, you know I, those very early days when I first saw this uh, I'm on, I was actively looking for a business that had products. Uh, I had my fill of promises of returns of money uh, just by putting money in, and they all end up being scams. And uh, I, I, I understand business, and I understand that if you sell something for a profit, you make money. Uh, so I understand it's very easy to get your head around if there's products and services, you sell those products and services for an amount of money, you make commissions on the sales and you earn money yourself. So that's what I was looking for. And somebody showed me uh, on Passive in those early days and it was going to be a digital marketing, marketing platform. Now, you might think, well, how would I make money out of that? A, there was going to be products that we could utilize within that, uh, but also there was uh, the affiliate program that went with it. And to me, that made very easy sense. I was having to pay other platforms for my marketing and the utilities of products that I was already using to advertise online. So it made sense for me if I'm already paying it, why not pay a company that I'm involved with that I'm going to make commissions on by using the products I need anyway, and I can invite other people to do exactly the same and win a winner chicken dinner. So that's really why I got in. But then it started evolving. Obviously, it started evolving into the teachings, I suppose, at the end of the day of our CEO, Ash Mufaro, about what his goal of on passive was going to be and that really excited me you now that was taking things to a whole new level and we talked earlier on in this uh, webinar today about evolving i've certainly evolved i've changed i've evolved because of on passive in the same way as that has and i think for me this really has been a company that i feel extremely at ease with i'm confident that uh not like i was with others where you wake up one morning and it's gone i'd never have those types of worries uh you know andy said all we got to do is wait absolutely we have some people can't i get that as well and that's why the nucleus of the early adopters and founders and affiliates of on passive really isn't as big as it was because some people just can't wait and i get that i mean that's uh that's up to them that's if they don't want to wait they don't have to wait but i really do believe that the ones that are engaged they stick with on passive will win the most because of our resilience that we have been through um Colin's made a very good point and i've said this many many times that people will come up to you in the future and say, you're part of that company, aren't you? And you, you'll go, yeah, you said, I was a founder right at the beginning when it first started. And you will tell your story and people won't believe what you have done and what you have been through to get to that point. And here is the but. The but is, look where I am now. Because... I stuck with it because I had that resolve and belief in a business because I knew it was going to turn out OK for me. And I think that is the main reason why so many of us stay with on passive, because we have that resolve and belief that this is a company that's going to make a huge difference to ourselves, people around us and also other people externally. What we have got in the pipeline as far as on passive is concerned for everybody going forward is going to blow us away we really are going to be shocked i believe that what we are going to see in a very short amount of time i really don't think we are a long way away now you know we've 
kicked off this next part by getting the OES back, all the data, all the information. That's just the start. This is a holding area. It's where we go, where get the right message from the company from. It's only the start. And I think when we go into phase two, next phase, 2.0, whatever you want to call it, I really think we're going to be amazed, I think is probably the best word. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Red. Um, welcome to Engineer Mike. How are you doing, Mike? Um, I have unmuted you, so don't worry. I know you're driving. Uh, we've been talking about consistency um, and our journey, if you like. So I wondered if you'd like to add to that, if you can. And he's frozen. Oh, no, there he is. I hope you heard that. Okay, Mike. Can you hear me? I can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. No. Okay, one second. Let me let me park a little bit yes. and reconnect. No, we can we can hear you fine, Mike. We can hear you fine. Let me <laughs> okay perhaps not um th th this is the only problem when you when we, you haven't got a stable internet connection we have this pr problem when we've spoken sometimes before with some of the guys in in other countries haven't we collins and it's and they've frozen for a minute which is a bit of a shame but anyway while he's reconnecting collins is there anything you wanted to add yes uh, um you know there's always a lot of things to add about on passive you know, when we're looking at on passive, especially at this point in time, like Red said, we have our OES back. A lot of people were thinking, oh, are you sure? I know a lot of founders were, oh, it will never come back. And now we have the OES back, all our data. We've not had anyone complain that something is missing. The importance of getting this back, like Red said, is to take us to the next phase, the other level of on passive, you know, and our CEO told us, Mr. Asset, they'll be communicating behind whatever is happening. And they said, we don't think it is too far. And what is coming will blow everyone's mind. The only thing is, when I always talk to a lot of founders, when they say, oh, they want to complain, I said, how much have you learned on passive? Because only the, 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 your knowledge will take you to where you want to go. Red cannot hold you. Andy cannot take you. You have to make that decision. You need to be in a position where you've known a lot about on passive. You don't have to wait until when they said go. Then you start to ask, oh, you, you are lost. What do I do now? How do I get to this? Because nobody will even waste the time to tell you. I don't think many people will even want to even sit and tell you this is the time. We talk about patience and learning. This is the time. Any, sometimes they say delay. I don't want to use the word delay. But I said, any one step is an opportunity for us to learn. You take one bite at a time, you learn a little bit, you go to webinars, you see it, you listen to Red, you listen to Madid and Chris, you come here. You know, most there are a lot of platforms you can learn. You know, just take, do yourself a favor just to learn. Learn as much as possible because you will not have that time again, that luxury. That luxury will not be there when they open it. Like I always make a statement. Red will not shut down his shop to come and help to arrange your own shop. Red will need to take care of his own shop, make sure everything is run, dust it, make sure the customers are flowing in, then come to you and say, okay, how can I help you now? You know, that's the- Can you hear me now, colleagues? Yes, we can help you, Mike. We can help you, <laughs> I hear you, yes. So Sorry. this is what we are saying. Try yes. as much as possible to learn because there is no time no time again it is just that close and when they, they ask before i said go this is it it is over that's it and you have so much to learn somebody said i will not take my time what you have missed for four years you don't expect me to come and teach you all of those things or educate you again for four years the only thing i will do is to direct you to webinar to record it webinars any good one i'll just say to you listen to that listen to that listen how long it will take you is up to you you know, this is the time to wake up and 
most founders, if you have an affiliate or you have a brother or a sister or friends who are sleeping, this is the time to shake them up and say, how, how much do you know about on passive? How much have you learned? Please do yourself a favor. Go to the OER, start to make yourself familiarize yourself, learn, check things, question it, ask, you know, just learn as much as possible. That's the only thing I would say, Andy. Learn, uh, learn, thanks, learn, thanks. learn, learn. Thanks, Collins. Right, let's get um, Engineer Mike on. Uh, let's see if we can unmute his mic for him. Yeah, uh, I've done that. There you go. Okay, cool. So tell us more. What are your thoughts on consistency and, and our journey so far then? Wow. Whoa, whoa. It's a big one. So good evening. Good day, everybody. Um, thanks for panelists. My big brother, my brothers, thank you, um, colleagues, for the invite. To me, um, I, I just want to say, for us founders, we should be consistent as our, our CEO has been consistent. He tells us everything and he does it. Like our brother Red and colleagues and all of you have already iterated, we have been um, so consistent by following him and and listening to what he is saying and and i mean where he is somewhere where there is any doubt you ask questions on his webinars and he will answer them for you right colleagues and myself have been asking us do we really know our business i hear him talking this is the time we should take all those time to know all those things right another thing we will be telling people is go and check your emails the alternative emails if they are still working. To be frank and candid, I have worked with people to recover like 25 of them already, which means that trouble is there. So please, if you could take your time, go to those um, emails, try to log in with those emails and see if they are not working, go and recover the emails. If you are facing trouble, contact one of us here we can help you. I've already worked with like 25 uh, accounts already to recover them. You know, consistency is what our CEO has. Whatever I joined, what things are joined on passive, I've been hearing him consistently and he has never failed us. So it is us founders to still be patient until that day when he, he will come and tell us that, hey, everything is done. We can now go here and make something. You remember? He has told us just to log in for now and see if our OES, our credentials are working, right? Your username and your password, if it is working. So we are waiting for him for the next step. Consistency, let's stay and wait when he will be done with what he is doing now. And if you see, our system is, 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 is optimized and our system is so fast, right? Everything is going on, the fast, the speed of, of, of the system. But, uh, you know, remember so many people log in and it is still there, right? So we should just keep our eyes on the OES, on the updates. That is only where we can have the real information and nowhere else. Collins will not tell you what it is in his mind and you say, oh, that's what Mr. I say. No, let's go there, listen to those updates, what, um, 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 read those updates and something will be there. And, and, and all of us here, We'll be consistent. That's why we are here today. People who are not consistent are out, right? So, but we that are in, we have to still be here because we need to still bring more people into this business when we get the next phase of the business from our CEO. When he tells us that, oh, I have twinned all the bodies, I have tricked everything, and we are ready to go, we will need to bring invite more people into the business. So how can you invite people if you don't know, right? So that is the thing. Let's spend this quality time now and get what information we can get. Get all those, go. There are webinars everywhere, but there are recorded webinars in so many YouTube channels. Go to Marty DeGamo's channel, go to Colin Manor's channel, and the Bexis channel, and everywhere that you feel comfortable, go there to webinars and listen. Okay, it is it is a way that we 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 we, we congregate, right? Coming together, that together is something that we cannot buy, right? I didn't know Andy Becks or Cody's mother from Adam, you know, but today we are friends, and 
what brought us together is unpassive. We can you cannot buy this friendship, right? We cannot buy it. So even if unpassive unpassive launches today, we have already created a family and we'll be visiting people all around the globe. I want to go to 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 to, to Manchester. I say, hey, Collins, and pick me up. I'll be here at this time. You think you, he will not come? He will come. So that is even more than the money. That is even more than the family, the friendship, the bond that we've created in Unpassive. It's even more than the, the, the financial aspect of it, right? So everybody is to stay tuned, listen to people who have good information for you, go to webinars when you hear the CEO is coming, or go to webinars where you hear the people who know what technology is happening there so that you can learn, right? Upgrade yourself so that when that time comes, you will be ready and willing to um, to help other people who will be coming into the business, uh, my brothers. That is what I have. Thank you very much. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Mike. Um, yeah, it's interesting because um, and Collins made a very, very good point here, and I think this this needs to be emphasised now because there's going to be a lot of upset people later on. What do I mean by that? Well, <clears throat> if if we've got our business up and running and we're concentrating on working our own businesses and then someone comes along and believe me, I get quite a few calls already and, and texts and what have you. Can you help me? What's happening? When do we get paid? Uh, silly questions really. Uh, but when I have my shop open, am I going to be able to spend time looking after you when I'm looking after me? And the simple answer to that is no. I'll do my best, but at the end of the day, I'm not answering every phone call and I'm not going to answer every text because I'm going to be concentrating on my business. And I think this is an important time to be able to plan properly, plan what's, how you're going to move forward and what you intend to do moving forward. <clears throat> Collins, any further thoughts before we close? Yes, yeah, so Andy, I think it's, it was really great. Thank you, engineer, for coming. I think Ray just um, left us. Uh, Ray, Ray is not coming back, so I don't know if Ray will be coming back. But I just want to I thank you, you guys. Lost and, internet connection. Yeah, so please stay tuned, plug in, learn as much as possible, and be patient because patient is the key. You know, always be patient because what is coming is bigger than all of us. So. Let us just be patient and let's plug in. And this is the time for you and I to learn, take as much as possible because honestly, the time is coming where we will not have the luxury again to learn. So Andy, I will leave it there. All right, th <laughs> thank thanks, you. Collins. Mike, have you got anything else you would like to add before we close? Yes, 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 yes. Um, Andy, I have this question that I always end webinars these, these days with. I will ask us as unpassivians, as founders, as affiliates, are we ready for the next phase of unpassive? So being ready is what we just we've just said here. It's for you to go to those alternative emails to check them if they are ready to go, to log in into those accounts to see if they are still up and running. So that when time is, you put everything down in writing, when our CEO says it is time for the next step or the next phase, that is when you will bring now everything that you have as wrinkles and all of those things so that they will be solved. But again, you should also check on those alternative emails to see if you can log in. If you cannot, then you have to recover them. We are here to help you. Call us, call colleagues, call myself all our tech pro brothers call andy we help you that is what i have um uh, to end it up um uh, andy thank you Lo lovely thanks mike thank you all for joining us this evening again or this afternoon wherever you are and uh please thank note you we've got, everybody <laughs> we've got um heroes on sunday at 2 p.m eastern time 7 p.m uk time please join us because you uh you will hopefully learn a lot and we'll see you again next Tuesday. So thanks very much for joining us.